Okay, this one is on how to troubleshoot the 80% furnace inducer fan. Now that's the inducer fan right here. This whole fan assembly is back here. Uh, it draws the hot gases up from the burners down here. And the burners are in shot, so they're actually shooting in. And then it draws it up and sends it out the vent pipe here. So it actually pulls negative pressure on the heat exchanger. So, uh, if one of these were to fail, what would be the symptoms? Okay, if I turn on the ther thermostat, now nothing's happening. The inducer didn't come on. Normally, the inducer should come on. It didn't come on. So one of the first things I would do uh, is I would find out if there's any power to the inducer first. Okay, I put a clamp meter on it and I'm showing 1.6. Well, this is a 1.0 amp motor and if I listen real close, I can hear a small hump. All this really means is the inducer is stuck. Now the furnace is going to attempt to light this thing by turning on the inducer, but the pressure switch here is not going to close, so nothing's going to happen. Well, that stops the sequence. Nothing else is going to happen at that point. It's done. These are very simple motors. They're what's called a shaded pole motor. 90% of the problems with these things are going to be in the bearings. And I'm going to take that thing off of there and we'll take a look at what, what it looks like inside. Okay, here's the inducer removed from the appliance. That's what we were looking at before. That's the outlet. And here's the inlet that comes from the furnace. Now there's a restrictor plate here which cannot be removed and can't be modified in any way. This is a blower wheel here. Now, does it move smoothly? Okay, this one, it's pretty smooth. Uh, got some years on it, so maybe a little worried about it. However, uh, I think it's probably okay. You can wiggle these bearings up and down. And if there's no movement in the bearings, that's okay. Uh, most of the time, what these will do is they'll just barely move. They'll kind of go like that if you turn them. So this one's okay. Uh, if you do have to replace one of these things, I want you to kind of take a close look here. That's the motor shaft. It's like 5 sixteenths or 3 eighths. I think it's 5 sixteenths. And there's a set screw here. There's a very good chance you'll neither get the set screw out or get that blower off of this shaft. We generally just replace the entire assembly. And one of the reasons uh, we do that, besides the fact that it's really hard to get that blower wheel off, is this is usually balanced as a whole. And they run about 3,000 RPM. So if you balance the motor and then you balance the blower, they may not match out very well and it'll vibrate. Uh, right here, that's the uh, tap. That's the tap for pressure sensing. These things, uh, they've got a very tiny hole in there. And I can't really show you the hole, I can't get close enough to it, uh, to keep pulsations from coming through the pipe because that can damage the pressure switch. Uh, that sometimes gets plugged. If you look at this thing kind of close, this thing has been painted with black paint and it's flaking off. Well, that black paint's inside it too, they painted the inside too. And that's kind of a problem. Sometimes they'll stop working, they'll stop making the pressure switch even though they're coming up to speed because that paint's flaking off. And after, a few years after they did this they stopped uh, doing this all together. So that's the inducer. Uh, 
One other thing I might say, you came onto this thing and the inducer didn't start and there was no power to the inducer, don't bother taking the inducer off because there's no problem with it. You're going to have to check your voltage to the wires coming in at that point. But like I said, if there's a problem with the inducer, 9 times out of 10 it's a bearing and it's probably seized up. You can actually get into these motors and dump a bunch of oil down in here. That bearing there is the one that usually gives the trouble anyway. And you can put oil into this bearing and you might get it running. It's not a permanent repair. You're going to have to come back and replace the inducer. But you might get them running overnight. But that's uh, troubleshooting the 80% inducer.